Alright, everybody, I'm back in the back here. I hope you're doing well. So, Michael Mann is right now finishing his film Ferrari about, was it, Lorenzo Ferrari? The guy who created the Ferrari. Uh, with Adam Driver playing the lead. I think the movie's supposed to come out later this year, probably around the holidays. Can't believe I, I can't believe I just said that. The holidays. I felt, we, I felt like we just ended the holidays, but somehow we're already in April. Um, but he's working on finishing that film, getting it out for the holiday season, and he's already working on his next film, apparently. He's finally going to make a sequel to his long-awaited crime, crime drama film, uh, Heat. Uh, came out in 1995, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, uh, Natalie Portman. They are working on a sequel. I'm really, there was a book that came out about a year or two ago called Heat 2. And I'm really, it's like kind of like a prequel sequel. Almost like a Godfather Part 2 where they got flashbacks, but then they also the present. Um, and they are working on turning that now into a movie. Michael Mann is supposed to come back and direct. And they're looking at Adam Driver to play the lead. Um, I think he's trying, I think he's going to be playing the Al Pacino character, the younger version of Al Pacino. Um, I heard a report also that Anna de Armas is also possibly going to be is in talks to me in the movie also. That'd be huge. Um, I think Heat is a great film. If you haven't seen the original Heat from 1995 and you like crime dramas, crime films, like bank robbers, heist, heist movies, Heat is the movie to watch. In fact, if you love The Dark Knight, you have to go back and watch Heat. Because Christopher Nolan has come out many times and said, Heat was the inspiration for The Dark Knight. And if you watch Heat, you see that in The Dark Knight. Whether it's the opening of the bank heist in The Dark Knight with the Joker, all inspired by Heat. Whether it's the interrogation between Joker and Batman, that was just like the scene in Heat where Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are talking back and forth. I mean, just the crime, the crime genre, genre itself, that was a huge part of The Dark Knight, the whole crime thriller aspect of it, all was inspired by the movie Heat. So, I'm looking for, I, as people know who know me, I love bank heist movies. Don't tell Wells Fargo that. Um, but I love bank heist movies, I always know. If I was ever in that situation, what would I do? Um, but, I mean, I think this is great. I think it is one of those long-awaited sequels that, you know, not that we needed a, a Heat 2, but since there is a book, why not? Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I think if you get Adam Driver in here, and they get Anna the Armas in here, does that mean Al Pacino's going to return? Um, you remember, I can't remember if Robert De Niro died in the movie or not, but if so, if he is alive, and I haven't seen the movie in a while, but if they get Robert De Niro back, especially in flashback or something, I mean, the whole de-aging thing, I don't know, it, um, I'm looking forward to it, I mean, thinking this is, I mean, come on, we got Ridley Scott doing Gladiator 2, and then we got Michael Mann doing Heat 2. Good times. Good times are coming. Good times. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to Heat 2? Are you a fan of the original Heat? Um, if you're a fan, like, if you're a fan of Bank Heist movies, this should be like up there as one of your favorites. Well, let me know in the comments below. I'm at the back here.